The Spirit is coming to bless us all with a new song. Let our joy be complete. Gifts for the good of all poured out on all to teach us a new song. Love one another. Strangers and neighbors, foreigners and friends will join in the new song. No longer servants, but friends. Come, let our worship make a joyful noise. Rejoice in the friendship of God. Good morning. My name is Tom O'Brien, and I am blessed to serve Memorial Congregational Church as pastor and teacher. And this morning, know that no matter who you are, no matter where you are physically, no matter where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. I have a few uh, short announcements to begin with. Next week, we will return to in-person services with our welcome home service. Uh, masks will be required and we're expecting that those who are eligible are vaccinated. Um, and in addition to being here in person, we will still be continuing to offer a, an online presence. And in order to make sure that you receive the link, we're gonna be moving off of Facebook onto Zoom. In order to make sure that you receive the link for that service, 
Um, please make sure that you're on our mailing lists at uh, mccsudbury.org slash connect. You can sign up there if you haven't already, or you can um, send an email to us at office at mccsudbury.org. And as I continue to get the sanctuary all set, uh, we have some, some ropes up. We have pews roped off. We have um, different equipment that will help us do our best to make the air safe for us to breathe and to reduce the risks of us gathering together. Uh, and all of the fans and air purifiers and everything that we've purchased have lots of cords and things that need to be connected. And um, we could use some help laying down some, some extension cords and covering them with gaffer tape. If you are available sometime this week, um, could you please send me an email and let me know and we'll uh, come up with a schedule that works for us. One, two. Please join me in the spirit of prayer. <clears throat> God, they say that feelings are a package deal. The yuck and the yum come, bu come bundled. God, they say that all feelings are from you. It's what we do with them that matters. But what do we do when our feelings come not tidily trussed but messily tangled, like a fine silver chain that won't be undone no matter how long we labor over it? It sits in a box waiting for a miracle worker. I take them out again, the pile of feelings, and this time I ask you to bless them before I begin the work. Bless the anger and the irritation. Bless the gratitude and the joy sparks. Bless the compassion and the selfishness, the fear and the courage, the gloom and the hope, the listlessness and the purposeful action. Bless the love in my life and bless the distance, emotional and physical, between those I would reunite with. Bless the stress and bless the serenity. 
bless it all, the whole mess, and remind us that having a rainbow of feelings is your light prismed into spectrum. I feel a little more at ease now. I can see where to begin to gently untangle, pull there, push there, rest there, and find how long it all, and find how it all fits together in one unbroken, beautiful strand. Amen. Each Sunday, we renew our promises to one another and to God. If these words are unfamiliar to you, feel free to listen. In the, in the love of truth, truth and, in, and the in the spirit of, spirit of Jesus, Jesus, we unite, unite for, for the, the worship, worship of God and the service of humanity. And as the Lord's free people, we agree to walk together, together in all God's ways. Made, made known, known or, to be, or to be made known to us. Made known to us. God's way is a way of peace and love, and it is a peace and a love that can't be stopped by time or distance or anything that we try to put in the way. So take a moment now to breathe in God's peace. And let go of those struggles that you bring with you this morning. Breathe in God's peace and God's love. Feel it enter you. And hold your hand up to the screen and send out that love. Send out that peace to others who are sharing this moment with you. And receive the peace and the love that they send to you. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt's land, tell all. Our reading this morning comes from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. Listen now for these words from God in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 17 to 25. 
And it begins with some of Paul's warm and fuzzy sentiments. What I now have to say is not said in praise. Your meetings do more harm than good. In the first place, I hear that when you gather for a meeting, there are divisions among you, and I'm inclined to believe it. No doubt there have, there have to be factions among you to distinguish those who are to be trusted from those who aren't. The point is, when you hold your agape meals, it is not the Eucharist you've been commemorating. For as you eat, each of you goes ahead without waiting for anyone else. One remains hungry while another gets drunk. Don't you have homes where you can eat and drink? Surely you have enough respect for the community of God not to embarrass poor people. What can I say to you? You get no praise from me in this manner. What I have passed on to you, I received from Christ, that on the night he was betrayed, our Savior Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, saying, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and said, this, is the cup, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do it in remembrance of me. Here ends our reading. May we be blessed with wisdom and courage for interpretation. On March 15th, 2020, we began fully virtual online worship services in order to protect our congregation and our community from COVID-19. Next Sunday, almost exactly 18 months later, we will once again resume in-person services. And honestly, as I prepared for this morning, as I set up this week, putting together slides and figuring out camera angles, I realized that I'm actually going to miss this. <clears throat> Billy Joel has a song called Summer Highland Falls, and one of the things that he says in there are, is these, they say that these are not the best of times, but they're the only times I've ever known. And maybe this past 18 months hasn't been the only time that we've ever known, but it feels like it's been going on for a lot longer than 18 months. And there are parts of it that I've enjoyed. There are parts of it that I've loved. I find that we've, we've been able to, to be, reach in and discover some new creativity. The virtual choirs and, and um, bands that we have had together have been incredible. We've, we get to hear, we've seen some great um, examples of it already, like with, with Marie playing two different versions or, or two different parts on the trombone for the song. And we have other songs where people are singing multiple parts and later on you'll, you'll see a bell piece that has some people playing multiple parts on the bells. And it's just incredible to see how we can take all of these separate videos and separate pieces of audio and put them together and create something new. And I've enjoyed, especially this, this summer, being able to go back and revisit some of the things that we've recorded, uh, picking and re reusing the music and different parts of the liturgy and shuffling them around and rediscovering new ways to deliver the message. And we've been able to have guest preachers join us, even though they couldn't come and be here in the service. And, and in some cases, they've joined us from, from different states and from far away. Often when I invite a guest preacher or have somebody to come here, I, I really enjoy doing it on a communion Sunday. I really like sharing and officiating communion together. Communion to me is, is so much about community and, and about doing things together and about connecting. So I love to be able to share that with, with guest, guest preachers or, or, um, or other ordained clergy. And I've used, over the past 18 months, a, a variety of different communion lit litanies. And looking back over them, I realized that even though they're, they're different in many different ways, they fit together really well. And <clears throat> a little bit later, you'll see, as we share in communion this morning, uh, you'll see what I've done with that. I've had some fun re-editing things and putting it together and uh, being able to, again, share in these moments of, of communion with lots of different folks on the officiating side and on, on the, the serving and receiving side. 
one of the things that, that we explored a little bit with communion is, is the fact that digital communion, recorded communion, is certainly different from doing it in person, but it's no less special. The words that we use and the, the meal that we share exists outside of time and space. It's something that we can share virtually as well as in person. And I find that so, so incredible and so amazing. And to me, that speaks so much to this, this ritual that's been going on for, for thousands of years around the world. Different languages, different, different ways of serving, different elements that are used. And I love the fact that we've, we've been able to tap into that a little bit more. I'm definitely in a Billy Joel mood this morning. There's another song that, that Billy Joel has and appropriately called Keeping the Faith. <clears throat> and there he says, the good old days weren't always good, but tomorrow ain't, it, ain't as bad as it seems. We're not really sure what the future holds. We don't know what tomorrow is going to be like. We don't know what next Sunday is going to be like. But I'm looking forward to continuing to discover new ways to be creative in, in our liturgy and in our music. I've certainly, even though I've enjoyed parts of the digital communion, I've missed serving it. It's one of, one of my favorite things to do is to, to be with people and to share in this meal together and, and to serve it to you. And beginning next week, we'll, we'll be able to to see each other again, to be together, and, and we'll continue looking out for each other, just as, just as we did when we decided to go virtual. Even though we'll be gathering back together in person, we're going to do so as safely as we can. As I mentioned, we've roped off pews to help with distancing. We'll have air purifiers and fans to help keep the air as clean as we can get it. Everyone will be wearing masks to look out for each other. And we'll continue to have an online presence. We've learned how important it is to keep this, this virtual channel open so that we could reach out to, to folks who aren't nearby to Sudbury, who, who can't come and, and join us on a Sunday morning. And during this continued time of uncertainty around COVID, to continue to offer this, this safe alternative for people who don't feel safe or comfortable coming to church in person, there'll still be this way to reach out. Just, I mentioned it in the announcements, but a, another reminder that we'll be, we'll be switching platforms, we'll be moving away from Facebook to going and going to Zoom. This is to, to really protect the privacy, especially of, of people who, who do choose to come and be here in person. And uh, it, it creates more of a closed circuit so that people, um, people's privacy will be will be protected over Zoom. So if you're interested in, in continuing to, to attend virtually and continuing to, to uh, be a part of these services, please make sure that you're on our email lists um, or you can email office at mccsudbury.org to make sure that you, you receive the link each week for our Zoom service. However we, have, we worship, over the years, over the months, over space and time, using sacred words that have been written hundreds and thousands of years ago, and discovering new ways for us to talk about God, new ways for us to be God's church. We can continue to do that. And I've, I've enjoyed all the old times that we've had. I've enjoyed this past 18 months, and I'm looking forward to new times and new memories. Because no matter the format that we use, God is always with us, and we will continue to be the church together. Amen.
When we approach this table of communion, we do so seeking a clean heart. Please join us now in the responsive prayer of confession. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to my brokenness, to the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to our brokenness, to the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. O oh, beautiful and sacred divine, we greet you this morning in the knowledge that all life is in your loving care. For your spirit's presence is everywhere, at all times, filling all things with life and intention. We give thanks this morning for the reality that our various that in our various locations, separated by miles and physical distance, that it is still true that it is you in whom we live and move and have our being. Now come, Holy Spirit, and make us one across the miles and through this media of the digital web that now connects us. Transform by your spirit of grace our social isolation and distance into a holy community that is connected to each other by your sacred presence. Be near to us as we are separated from one another so that each of our kitchen tables and coffee tables may be mystically connected in communion to your table, which unites us all. We give thanks for this sacred ritual in all of the ways that it has manifested over the centuries. We remember that this virtual experience is worship and keep it holy. Although we could turn off our video to retrieve laundry and fold it, we don't. Working 24 seven is too like a parable of morning after the bigger barn project. And no beatitude declares blessed are the multitaskers. This virtual time is a Sabbath to God. The sacraments consecration is in the story that stretches backward far beyond the light years of light years. We remember that Paul the apostle wrote letters to congregations throughout places we now call Greece, Turkey, and Macedonia. And they were the first remote worship services. Our online service has a long heritage. The communion words sent to the church at Corinth were these. Nimm es. Das ist mein Körper, der dir gegeben wird. Tu dies in Erinnerung an mich. Tak isto, aj po večeri vzal Ježiš pohár a podakoval Bohu. Dal im to a povedal. Este copa es el nuevo pacto confirmado con mi sangre, la cual es derramada en favor de ustedes. God, the sky speaks your glory and deep space your creation. Daybreak announces hope and starlight sings rest 
in a language that needs no translation, but joy. Nothing is hidden from you and you make no barriers for human understanding. We are revived, enlivened, warned and comforted. Beyond even the bright and sweet parables of our lives, you free us from definitions of relationship based in dominion and domination. And you lead us to words of reconciliation and grace. So reconciled, we pray. Hear us, O Christ, and breathe your spirit upon us and upon this bread and this cup. May they become for us like your body, vibrant with your life, healing, renewing, and making us whole. And as the bread and cup which we now eat and drink are changed into us, may we be changed again into you, bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, loving and caring in the world. Amen. The table of bread and cup is now ready. It is the table of the company with Jesus and all who love him. It is the table of sharing with the poor of the world with whom Jesus identified himself. It is the table of communion with the earth in which Christ becomes incarnate. So come to this table, you who have much faith and you who would like to have more. You who have been here often and you who have not been for a very long time. You who have tried to follow Jesus and we who have failed. Come, it is here that we are invited to meet Christ. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Come for all things are ready. This is the bread of life. This is the cup of blessing. Let us at many tables receive the gift of God, the bread of heaven. We come to Christ in the bread we share. In thanksgiving for this sustenance on our journey and the grace of holy dispersion in virtual worship and cautious regathering in familiar pew, we claim the story of Jesus Christ as our own, a path of healing and service.
the cross, and the ever-present truth of the resurrection. Let us pray. O Holy One, we come to you with our weariness and hope. We thank you for the rest and strength of this communion so that we may return our tables to service in the world and hear your words of guidance every day and every night through Christ who has taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, our Mother, who are in all the earth, hallowed be thy name. Holy is your truth. Thy kingdom come. May your wisdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your circle be one, uniting heaven and earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us today a nurturing spirit. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Heal through us as we ourselves are healed. Lead us into fullness of life and liberate all that is good. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for the wisdom, the power, the glory, and the presence and the goodness are yours, now, now and, forever. and forever. Amen. Our worship has ended. Let our service begin. Now go forth into the world and serve God with gladness. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people, loving and serving God and rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit, now and into the life everlasting. And may the Lord bless you as you walk the way of Christ Jesus in thought, word, and deed. May Christ's life be yours now and always. May God be with you till we meet again. Amen. Amen, see I could do me so. Sing Amen. Amen, we praise your name, O God. Sing Amen. Amen.